Hi everyone, and welcome to this series on Vibe Coding with Cursor. In this video, you'll learn how to use different modes, such as Ask, Edit, and Agent mode, to get help, make edits, and even have the AI build full features for you. One of the most powerful features of Cursor is the AI chat pane, built directly into your editor. This is where you can communicate with the AI, not just to generate code, but to get explanations, make edits, troubleshoot, and even automate tasks. Cursor's chat interface is split into three main modes. Let's start with ask mode. Use this when you have a question about your code, a concept or a tool you're using. You can highlight a section of code and ask things like, what does this function do? Can you help me change this? How do I add error handling here? The AI will answer based on your code, context, and the surrounding files. You don't need to switch to Google or ChatGPT. You can ask questions and get help in the flow of your work. Agent mode is where the AI becomes more proactive. Instead of just answering questions, it can take on tasks like setting up file structure, installing packages, changing entire components, or writing new features. Agent mode is the main mode that we'll be using when we're vibe coding with Cursor. You simply give the AI a high-level goal, for instance, add user authentication with Superbase, and it will start working on the code directly in your project, using file navigation, code creation, and even the terminal if needed. A pro tip here is to enable auto mode or YOLO mode, making the agent even more powerful. It allows the AI to automatically run terminal commands, install packages, and complete multi-step workflows, all with less manual input. Just be sure to supervise its actions, especially when working on live or critical projects. Agent mode is ideal when you want to move fast, offload setup tasks, or experiment with new features, while still keeping full control on your project. Edit mode is designed for making quick, targeted changes to your code. You simply highlight the code that you want to change and describe what you want to happen. Cursor will apply the edit directly, like a pair programmer working beside you. The great thing is that you don't really need to understand code or no coding to communicate, even in edit mode. You can mark parts of the code, ask it to explain it, and then explain in simple English what you want the behavior to be. You can switch modes in the AI pane or use keyboard shortcuts to move between the different modes quickly. For more advanced use cases, we can actually define our own custom modes, but that's for later and we'll cover that in a future video. Now remember, Cursor's chat experience is not just about generating code, it's about building with an AI assistant who understands your project. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.